good afternoon. Today is the second day of my total knee replacement. Yes, this machine is yelling at me, telling me I have to have a, I have an occlusion, it says downstream occlusion, like always. Pushing okay, shutting it up. Um, here is my leg. But apparently that runs from here down to there and I got real hardware in there now yeah so Ellers down those folks I'll be walking without a cane yeah yeah baby yeah I will be able to walk and hopefully I remember how to talk at the same time. It's been a while. Uh, I also have to say thank you so much to my friend Tracy and to my friend Mikey. They are my roommates. They take care of me. They do a great job. Earlier in the video I said no one was here and no one was with me. But that's because only no one was here and no one was with me. I did say had no help because I was trying to, well, it doesn't matter. I do have help. I have a significant amount of help. I just got through telling physical therapy about it. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, also, I wanted to say for my gastroparesis folks, trying to make you eat, doing a darn good job of trying, at least tasting things that I haven't tasted in a long time because I don't cook for myself. Why should I? And if someone's going to cook, usually Tracy cooks and gives me, you know, a little bit of whatever she's making. I'm fine with that because, you know, don't have a big appetite, just need something small. She's great about it, always has been. Um, mostly, the end of my message, well, my whole message, was I'm in the hospital. You're not here to help because you weren't here to help in the beginning and you know who you are. And that's who I was talking to in that video. If you, read, if you had been a YouTube subscriber, you would know what I'm talking about when I say that. Anyhow, Jeff Davis, Amanda Stamper, Pam, my beautiful sissy. That's her grandbaby. I would like you to let Jeff know, because he's got me blocked on every platform possible, um, that I have his divorce papers. How am I supposed to talk to him if he's got me blocked on every, on every, everything? I know he gets that from you, Sherry. No, that was either Sherry or Amanda's idea. It's funny. Here's something. Sherry and Amanda. You're the same person. <laughs> it's, and I can tell the truth now. Finally. I'm free from y'all. Free from y'all. Y'all the same person. That's why y'all hate each other so damn much. Because you're the same person. You talk smack about people. Right behind their back. Where they can hear or find out. Could mean stupid. Anyhow, Jeff, 
You had a chance to be divorced in September, but you didn't go. You got the paperwork. It was proven. I seen it. And they said you didn't show up. All you had to do was show up. We could have been divorced in September, Jeff. What the heck? Anyhow, can you check your mail? Like, actually open it. I know you don't open your mail. But if it says the court, can you please open your mail? I do have your divorce papers. They are the same exact divorce papers except the dates are changed to the normal dates. I don't want nothing from you. I never got nothing from you. You never were nothing in our whole marriage. I mean, you work here and there, but mostly all your money went to your ex-wife and whatever uh, pill, drug, or problem, whatever it is that you have wrong with you that you spend money on that I don't know about. Whatever problem you have, you spent your money on that, not on your family, which I was supposed to be. I really don't care anymore. I'm so over it. And this video proves it. Come pick up your paperwork. Uh, around the corner from Jeremy's house over at the Liberty gas station or over at the uh, airport. DM me, let me know. Well, you'll have to let me know and I'll have to set up a date because I'm kind of down right now. For the next time you're gonna be in town, it would be great. Pick up paperwork. I mean, I will have somebody else officially hand it to you since that's the way it's supposed to go. I just don't have money to drive all the way to Orofino. Um, I definitely can't drive that far. That is just way too far for me to drive. And number three, I can't travel that far just yet. So, contact me, DM me, have someone in your family contact and DM me so we don't even have to talk because really I don't have much to say to you except goodbye. Um, learned all my lessons. Thank you. And as far as it goes for my knee surgery, I think I'm doing great. I'm really high on drugs right now. And I'm sorry that <laughs> this video is super long <laughs> and this bell keeps going off. But just on my journey. Can't hardly wait to go to, to back to Phoenix, talk to my Mayo Clinic doctor so he can give the news and the bee's knees, <laughs> is the business, to my doctor so we can get a great follow through on how to take care of my alerts down those with some braces maybe to help me with my walking in the future. All right, peace, love, and happiness to all.